Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So apparently it seems that Microsoft is working on a new security feature for Edge that will help keep you safe from harmful extensions. And this is all according to an entry over on the Microsoft 365 roadmap. Now, normally what you would do if you are using Edge, if you want to get a new extension, you'd head to your extensions, get extensions for Microsoft Edge. You can do that from Edge add-ons or the Google Chrome web store. But in some cases, extensions are installed outside of the add-on store or the Chrome web store. And this is called side loading, as you may well know, which can be useful if you are a developer or an advanced user trying out different extensions. But the only problem with side loading is it can introduce unwanted or harmful extensions. And some are designed to reinstall themselves even after you delete them. And some can take over your browser settings by changing your search engine or stealing sensitive information such as your payment details or your login details and so on. And I have posted a couple of videos on that on the channel. Now, if we head over to the Microsoft 365 roadmap, because it's still in development, hasn't made it as yet even into Edge Canary, which is an early preview version. If we have a look at this, it says, Microsoft Edge adding protection against malicious side-loaded extensions. Microsoft Edge will detect and revoke malicious side-loaded extensions. And the rollout starts November 2025, so that's in just over a month's time. And it was added to the roadmap on the 25th of September, which was yesterday in my part of the world. So according to this roadmap entry, Edge will be able to detect and block malicious side-loaded extensions. And it says in development, as you can see. So they still got a couple of phases, two and three to go for before this makes it to the actual release version to the general public. Now, this seems like a good idea, but I just hope that Microsoft gives us a so-called filter or an option to be able to turn this feature on and off. At this stage, it's not known if it's going to be a default or if we are going to have an option in settings to be able to turn a feature off, maybe under privacy search and services, as an example. But like all these new features, I'm going to keep my ear to the ground. And obviously, if I get more info, I will let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.